Let's head over to the Storm Alert Center. Meteorologist Paul Barris has your seven day forecast. We're starting off with a bang, Paul. Well, we are going to end the day with a bang. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. We got a shower right now, just moving towards Saudi Daisy, northern half of the city. Uh, it'll be moving towards Saudi Lake. It's just maybe a little south of Saudi Lake, pushing off to the east. Also, a little, little thunderstorm, a little shower. Actually, no thunder and lightning with this, just to the uh, south and west of Pikeville right now, up into Bledsoe County. But most of the action is out near Nashville. There's no watches out near Nashville along I-65. The watches right now are still to the west of the Tennessee River, and the bigger thunderstorms are still in Missouri, heading into western Kentucky. That's where the bulk of the severe weather is right now with all the, the warnings, and there's just one warning right now. So all this mess is going to be pushing off towards the east. We're going to see some showers and storms, but they probably won't get severe until a lot later on tonight. 80 currently in the city, 79 Dayton, Cleveland, Athens, 79 Dalton, 79 near Murphy, winds are out of the southeast at 6. Pollen count was at 285 for today. High today was 83, 64 the overnight low, so it was a warm day today. And uh, sky watchers told me 80 in Fort Payne, 80 in Dalton, about 82 in Scottsboro and Somerville uh, for the highs. And then temperatures around the metro area, upper 70s to near 80, although mid 80s up near Saudi Daisy and about 82 on near East Ridge, Cleveland got up to 79. And the temperatures again averaging near 80 or so, maybe low 80s uh, to the east of the city, 82 in Murphy, 80 Turtle Town. About 83 up in the Pikeville with 82 in Dunlap and about 81 in Athens. Here's the latest Vipercast again showing uh, by 9 o'clock just a few isolated showers popping up. Now it's coming in at around 10, 11 o'clock over the plateau and right into the valley. Some pretty good thunderstorms will be starting to pop here. Now Vipercast is saying uh, the worst is going to be north of us, but that's not 100% sure. Some of it could be further to the south, maybe about to the Georgia line. Then it pushes to the south and east and doesn't last long. And then we get some breaks and then some more showers tomorrow, especially into the afternoon and evening. Best chance for the thunderstorms will be east of the city. And some of those could be strong and severe, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But it doesn't look as bad tomorrow as it could be tonight. And then we'll get some clearing coming up right into Thursday. And here's where the lightning is uh, forecasted to be by our computer model. Again, to the north of the city, some of it very intense. And then there's also potential for some hail north of the city. But again, this could just slip a little bit for, you know, 50 miles further to the south, and that's not impossible with a computer model. So we're thinking about a half inch of rain on average, and maybe a few spots could see a little bit more if you get under a real good cell. Tonight, though, showers and storms could be strong and severe, so the worst will probably be after 10 o'clock tonight, 64. Uh, for tomorrow, still a chance for some thunderstorms. Best chance for any severe weather will be east and south of Chattanooga with southwesterly winds highs near 80. Tomorrow night, 52, breezy, cooler. And again, northerly winds 10 to 15. Any showers ending Wednesday morning. Thursday looks nice, cooler on Friday and wet. And then Saturday and Sunday look great. And Monday looks pretty good too. So a nice weekend coming up. It's going to be chilly. Tonight though, pay attention to the forecast and we'll tell you more right after this.